right, Shalawam. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shamia Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This Makazar from the Trinidad camp. So I want to do our edification for the sake of you know the brothers out here. Alright. As you know, like we've seen from like IUIC, you know, and uh, mainly IUIC, that you know they take the Lord's name Yahabah Shemi Al Shai for granted. Right? You you actually beginning with need denounce that glorious name. You denounce the name of the Most High. You saying the Lord could you could call the Lord wherever you want. Alright? That is basically when you sing you could call the Lord wherever you want. Right, so I just want to go through a few scriptures to show that that, that doctrine that ain't pushing that bullshit. It says Exodus chapter 5, verse 1. It says, And afterwards Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus said Yahweh, God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is Yahweh? That I should obey his voice to let Israel go. I know not Yahweh, neither will I let Israel go. So it, Pharaoh, just like what Pharaoh did back then, Pharaoh didn't care about you know who was the most high. But guess what? At the end of the day, he found out who Yahweh was. He found out who Yahweh Shemiah Shai was. And Nate couldn't find out who the most high is. Hey, Esau couldn't find out who the most high is because right now Esau don't want to let Israel go. He still don't care who Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is right now. But in the days to come, you know, Nate, going back to Jeremiah 9.25, Nate, Esau, all these other nations, are going to find out at the same time who that great God is. And his name ain't Most High and Christ. Alright? So if you don't want to give the Most High his honor and his praise, the Lord going to take it by force. Alright? This is Malachi chapter 1 verse 6. A son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If I be if I then if then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said Yahweh of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. Yeah, and you hate the most high name, Nate. You hate that name. You denounce that name. You was once coined upon that name, and you hate that name. Alright? You hate that glorious name. Esau hate that name. All these nations hate that name. But guess what? The time coming where they're going to bow down to worship that name. Alright? Going on. It says, and ye, and ye say, wherein have we despised my name? Alright? You despise the Lord's name. Alright? All these nations who worship in other gods, you, you despise the most high name. But in that day, the Most High gonna show all these gods, all these, all these, pe all these, um, these nations, all these people, who the, the true God is. Just like we did back in ancient Egypt. This is Isaiah chapter two, verse seventeen. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. Yeah, like Esau who's saying, basically, I am the Most High. Like Nate who's saying, Yahweh. So what? Like, the, like you know, you know, like. Like, no respect. And most are going to destroy you for that. Isaiah 2, 7, um, 17. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low. Yeah, because when the Lord come terrible upon the earth, men going to be turned to bitches. Men going to be turned to women in that day. So all that pride, when they, when they talk about, we could, could call the Lord wherever you want, or who is your how that I will let Israel go. Guess what? All that going to run away. Go ahead, pursue into Revelation 6 and 16. Where they tell the rock to fall upon us and hide us from the face of him that set it upon the up, upon the throne. Alright? You gonna fear the most high Yahweh Hashem in that day. Going on. It says, And Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. Alright? In that day, all, all you people who... Who basically don't want to fear the Most High. Who want to take the Lord for granted. Who, who don't want to fear his name. Alright. In that day. Nate. You got to fear. 
This is Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 11. And Yahweh will be terrible unto them. For he will famish all the gods of the earth. Mosai and Christ. That is not the Mosai. That is an idol you worship in. That is a false god you worship in. Mosai and Christ. Who the fuck is Mosai and Christ? Alright? So the Mosai is going to put you to shame in it. Yahweh will be terrible. Zephaniah 2.11 Yahweh will be terrible unto them. He will famish all the gods of the earth. And men shall worship him. Every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. So guess what? Shiva, Ganesh, Jah, Jesus, all these gods, the Lord, the Most High, Allah, all these gods, the Most High, gonna put to shame, and He alone gonna be exalted, and everybody gonna bow down to worship that glorious name, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai. Everybody gonna bow down to worship that name. All right, everyone gonna fear that name. All right, scriptures talk about the, the Mosai that hideth his face from Jacob. So, because the Lord long suffering, you people think that everything is everything. Well, guess what? When the Lord come down and shake the earth, we're gonna see how long suffering the Lord is. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 22. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus said Yahweh, I do not this for your sakes. So when the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai come back to destroy the adversary. The most I doing it for our sake. Alright? O house of Israel, but my holy name's sake. So the Lord doing it for his name's sake. Who you, you people hate. Scripture talk about whom men are bought, are bought which you have profaned among the heathen whither you went. And I will sanctify my great name which was profane among the heathen. Talking about the Lord name, could be wherever you were, you play lo a yoga. Which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, said Yahweh, when I shall, shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. So yeah, so the Mosai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahashai, when he come, the Lord going to sanctify his name. The Lord going to glorify his name. Believe it is John 12 28 when the scripture said, Lord, glorify thy name. And a voice came from heaven and said, I have glorified it and will glorify it again. So the Lord glorified his name back in Egypt and Lord going to glorify his name again. All right. So in that day, the scriptures talk about the men that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. These men going to glorify that name too. All right. And that is prophecy right here. This is Revelation 15, verse 4. I said that verse 3. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh, power almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Yahweh? Who ain't gonna fear the Mosai when the Lord come and shake terribly the earth? All right? And glorify thy name, for thou alone art holy, for all nation, nations shall come and worship before thee. All right, all nations are gonna come and worship before the Lord. All right, guess what? The two thirds of Israel who don't want to worship the Lord, scripture said, um, who that who will not worship the Lord shall be put to death. The Lord said, Who will not have me reign over them? Bring head and slay them before me. So even you, when you get destroyed, when you come back, you're going to bow down to the Lord too. All them East Indians, them Chinese, all these other nations, they're going to bow down to worship Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. All right, pursuing to Zechariah 14. They're going to bow down to worship Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. All right. It says, For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. All right, and how his judgments made manifest when the Lord come and they realize that guess what? These gods we pray into because the scriptures say pursuing to Isaiah 8, I believe it's um 21, when they said that they shall curse their gods and their king. When the Lord come and do that destruction, all right. When the most high come and do that destruction, guess and they started praying to the gods and they realized that the gods can't save them. Guess what? The most side they're gonna realize here yeah, these works of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Scripture said, Then shall they know I am Yahweh. Alright? They're gonna know I am Yahweh. Say the scriptures. 
So in that day, men are going to know who to fear. All right? I'll read this last scripture here, then I'll close off. This is Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. I am Yahweh. That is why when you look up, you know, you can look up on um on the internet, the Ipua Papyrus. And that is an account from a man that was, when you look it up, you realize that his account of the plagues in Egypt coinciding with the plagues in the scriptures all right and you could also look up um the 10 plagues of egypt and you'd realize that each plague wasn't a random plague was actually a strategic blow at each egyptian god all right they are the god of denial the god of the children the god of the um the firstborn the god of vegetation the god of the frogs, god of the flies, the, the Mosai was a strategic blow against all gods to show that, hey, I am the boss. And that is what the Mosai is going to do. Mosai is going to glorify that name. So when Pharaoh wants to say, who is Yahweh that I might worship him? When Nate wants to say, who is Yahweh that I might worship him? Who is Yahweh that I might worship him? I will bow down to him. Guess what? In that day, all flesh shall know. And with that, we we'll give our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, that teach this word in sincerity and truth, and the men of the hopefully elect that push this word in sincerity and truth. And until that day, is Makazah saying Shalom.